Now if we want to find some real data, we would start again with a fresh page. And we bring on the TSM Resources site and go to Useful Files. We should find uh, lots of data here in Excel. That's good. And the one I'm going to use is Baby Data, so you click on that. And here is the data set already loaded into Excel. Uh, now, conveniently, there's uh, two variables which I think are quite usefully next to each other, the birth weight of the child and the gestation days. So if they're not next to each other, you need to hide any cells that are in between. So just literally, literally select a column and right-click, hide. We don't need to do that here. We just drag from D to E and right-click, copy. Then back in Autograph, right-click, enter XY data, right-click, paste. There it goes, column headers have gone too. Uh, tick, tick to take the column headers as the X and Y axis labels. And click OK. Very nice. Uh, that looks like it's got some reasonable correlation. Um, however, I think these two variables are the wrong way around. The independent variable here should be the gestation days. So double click on this and swap axes. I'm going to show the stats as well. Auto scale should take care of everything. And uh, there it goes. So now we've got a line roughly in this direction, but you can see that the correlation coefficient is quite low. Um, and you've got a few outliers here, or or not, uh, who knows, but uh, there they are. If you do find there are values which are a long way out, just select them like that and press delete. Select that and right click. We want to do a Y on X regression line. And there it goes. So that's the way of bringing in real data and showing the principles of least squares of regression. Uh -huh.